Bagpipe Hymn a Day, Day 83, Maryton, by Henry Percy Smith, 1874. And as always, the sheet music is on Bagpipe Hymn a Day on Facebook. And the most common hymn is, O Master, Let Me Walk With Thee. Then comes, Jesus, Thou Joy of Loving Hearts. And then uh, come, Holy Spirit, Dove Divine. And then several others. Now since from about day 60, we wrapped up with the hymn tunes that fit perfectly on the limited Scottish bagpipe scale, and go on to hymn to tunes that don't quite fit, every day there's going to be a, a challenge, uh, an arranging challenge. And with this tune, it's that if you put it where the range fits into this one octave range, it's got a lot of high G sharps. And then it also has one passage at the very end that goes down below the range in the uh, end of the next to last bar. So playing on the penny whistle, because in the penny whistle you have both the, um, the bagpipe has the flat seventh, which is a written um, G natural. And on the whistle you can have that. Or you can play. And it's that second one. Now there is an alternate fingering on the pipes. It doesn't work on the practice chanter, but on the actual pipe chanter um, for high G sharp, a written high G sharp. I always have to say that for non-pipers who aren't re uh, don't know that the bagpipes are a transposing instrument. So if you finger C and then lift this top index finger, like you're going to do a high G grace note, that finger on modern high pitch pipe channers with like a ridge cut reed will generally give a nice, stable, in-tune high G sharp. You just have to practice getting around with that fingering, that new fingering for you. On some of the old channers, like the 1960s Hardys, and then some of the concert B-flat channers, it's like, it's a different high G sharp fingering you can use sometimes. It's like fingering E, but then you take off your thumb. And it's putting these two fingers down has the effect of flattening high A to a high G sharp, more or less. It tends to be a little on the sharp side. So I'll demonstrate it on the whistle. And this is my second arrangement, which is in the key of A, written A. <clears throat> and where the scale, the, the range fits good, but all the G's are G sharps. And this is what it would sound like. should be an octave lower. But since uh, a lot of pipers aren't familiar with the high G sharp finger, you're not comfortable with it, I think in a lot of ways the, the upper arrangement, which is in the key of D, works better on the pipes because all the notes are your customary notes. And there is octave jumping around. But actually when you play along with um, a pipe organ and choir, there's octaves already. So and a lot of times in pipes you can kind of get around with Jumping. As long as you play the correct notes, you can jump around with playing the octaves. So on the on the pipes, the arrangement in written D is. It's nice in that key because you can do that final cadence that you can actually do that properly. <laughs> 